Research. It's core to teaching and learning. It's an important aspect of finding information about subjects and domains of knowledge that we're interested in. But where do I find good quality information? I could go to social media networks and that's going to be a lot of noise and maybe a little bit of information. I could go to Wikipedia, but anybody can edit a Wikipedia page. I could go to a Google search. The problem is I'm going to get a mixed bag of results. But there are better ways to do research. And the number one way to find good peer-reviewed information is through academic journals. But where do I find academic journals? I have some videos here on the channel where I talk about good quality research, but in this video I specifically want to show you an iPad app that I use, it also works on your iPhone, that is absolutely fantastic and I use it to keep up to date with different subject areas that I'm interested in. I use this app to keep a news feed of all the things that are changing and happening in my selected areas of study. Let's go take a look at Researcher an app that I think is very useful for anybody who wants high quality information around certain domains of knowledge. Let's begin by turning on my iPad and we'll just log in and we have the Researcher app. Now with the Researcher app on the main page, I'm going to get articles that are very recent. So for example, this article is about one hour old. It's from the Science Alert blog. And you can see that I have a number of different articles in the subject areas that I'm interested in. And we can set that up through subscribing to different journals. It's not a subscription like a paid subscription, that'd be very expensive. But what we can do is we can subscribe to the abstracts from the journal, and then we can use those to go to the actual source journals, either through an academic library or with journal access, however we may have that. So that's my homepage. Then what I can do is I can go into my page where I can collect resources. So I have journals, I have universities and institutions, I have companies, I have news and blogs, I have podcasts, I have preprints, and I even have some conference proceedings. I tend towards the journal, so if I go into the journal section here, you can see that I have a whole bunch of different journals around education, uh, library and, si and information sciences, uh, there's infectious disease, there's health and social science, neurology, so lots of different types of journals. I'm very partial to education, of course, and you can see that, let's say, for example, I want to go in, look for different journals that are around education, lots of different journals that are here. Let's say, for example, I'm interested in the journal of, uh, you know, let's say, classroom discourse. So if I go into this journal here, I can see the last article was about a month ago. I can see the different abstracts uh, for the different articles. And I could follow this journal, which would add it to my feed. So you can see lots of different choice and a lot of great ways to customize my environment so that I can then go in and have journal act or journal abstracts. I love this when I'm commuting on the train or the bus because I can just sit there and read abstracts. And the neat thing is, I can even see what's hot within a specific field. So if I look through for you know things like medical and health sciences, I can see what's trending in that area. I could go into life sciences and biology, chemistry and materials, engineering and computer science is always interesting. And I can go into things like social sciences and psychology. So you can see unlocking the mysteries of the brain's neocortex. So this would be something that just came out about six days ago in Nature and I could read the abstract and of course Nature is a journal that a lot of libraries subscribe to including a, bit, a lot of public libraries so you should have be able to go into that article if you'd like and go into that article you can get the abstract there there's even some information in here where you can copy the DOI so the DOI will allow me to find it or a librarian can help me find it. And this is a section I absolutely love. It's related papers to that article. So this really helps me if I'm doing something like a literature review. What I'll do is if I find an article that's in the subject area that I'm doing some research on, I can easily find related papers. And then what I can do is push those all into my note-taking system. So if I'm using like a Notion note-taking system or a reference manager like Zotero, and I can use those even in, in some different type of word processing programs like Nota Bene. So I can pull those into my research tools and then I can have a nice DOI list and then go pull articles and pull the ones that I want to 
go deeper into. So lots of very valuable what's hot, what's trending, specific journals I'm interested in. I can take bookmarks. It depends what I'm doing. I, I will often clear this out and work on different projects. And then one of the things that I really like, there's so many things I like about this obviously, is that let's go back to the journal. Let's go back to the homepage here. So underneath the homepage, I can go in and I can set specific publications that I'm following. So these are my publications. I have a lot that I'm following. Different news and blogs, again, a lot that I'm following. You can add new ones in there. But I can also create feeds. And the neat thing about creating a feed is, let's go in and create a new feed. And let's say I'm interested in doing some research on uh, you know, some aspect of education. So let's say, for example, I wanna go in, I'll put a keyword or a topic, and I'll do something like, uh, virtual reality, VR in education. So VR in education. I could do another one that I actually want to put in here is later on, I will put AI in education. But now I have a keyword VR in education. I can go in and refine this. So I'll go next and I can do things like exclude from this feed specific authors or keywords or subjects or specific publications I'm not interested in. But I'm going to do a catch all right now. So I'll say next. I can go in and allow notifications to come in here. Um, I can have only open access papers. But if you have access to an academic library, you might want to actually get the academic library and I'll just go finish and now what I've done is I've created that filter and you'll see it'll already start giving me articles about VR virtual reality so in my case I didn't get any papers matching that so let's go and do I'm sure we'll find one that'll have AI in education the point is if anything comes in later on uh, I will be able to capture that so we'll do AI in education and we'll add that in We'll go say next. I'm not going to exclude anything. See if we have some papers here. So we'll go in and say finish. And you can see with that particular search, I should get some articles. Otherwise, what's happening to the world? There we go. So here we have, you know, 16 hours ago, an article from the University of Waterloo News around commercializing her doctoral research. And it gives some interesting um, information about, and this is interesting to me because it's Canadian. So I'd be interested in finding out about this individual and what's happening. Uh, so some good, you know, articles on news and such. Here's the Journal of Education, Multimedia and Hypermedia, which I suspect would also have um, VR in education. I might have to expand that and say virtual reality in education. So you can see there's some medical information, different types of, of information in here. Some of these are likely to be sponsored. So here we go. So this one here is actually a promoted article, but if you look, you can see here that the, when, the, when the article came out, you can see the journal that it came from. So there's all sorts of very useful ways to start capturing this information and begin very powerful research just by using the researcher app on your iPad. This is only part of the collection in the beginning and the collecting the information. There are other phases to research, obviously, but this is a great way to start. This is a great way to make sure that every day you're reading something significant in your fields of interest and study. I hope this video was useful for you and more than any other video, I really do hope you'll share this with others and that you'll use this as the foundation to making sure that you always have some high quality peer reviewed journals in your inbox, something to read that you know has been tested by others and something that you can look at as being quality information. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below on different ways that you keep up to date and make sure that you're getting good quality information for your own areas of interest. And I'll see you in the next video.